Hey guys, it's Blum and welcome back to another Tawny Makeover video and this time we're doing it on the bears and first off, I want to apologize for not uploading as consistently as I did before. It's because I've been so busy with work and it's just been a crazy couple of weeks, but I'm trying my best to like go back into a regular uploading schedule because I used to post every day, but now I just don't. So I don't know. I think also like one of the reasons why I haven't been uploading as much is because I've been kind of burnt out of The Sims simply because it's been lagging a lot lately. Like I know The Sims lags a lot but recently it's been just like very laggy if you watch my previous like my last um 100 baby challenge episode you'll see some of the lag going on there so it's been kind of disappointing to record when that happens because it's it's just frustrating because like you want to do stuff but then you can't because it's lagging so much so it's just a very like frustrating experience so that's why i haven't been recording as much so that's why i decided to do a tawny makeover just to kind of get something out for you guys but also i really enjoy doing like cast stuff and also cast doesn't lag so that's also another reason why also with build by i don't find that it lags as much it really just lags when i'm in gameplay which is a shame because gameplay like live mode is one of my favorite parts um especially recently when i've been like super attached to my current households and stuff like that but now i don't know i'm just i'm just taking a break from all the let's plays and stuff so in the future maybe you'll see more like cc halls and stuff like that instead of gameplay it's just until i get this fixed i don't really know what the issue is honestly like um my pc has enough storage on it like i didn't change anything i mean i don't know if i'm due for an upgrade but um it's been the same pc that i've been using for for like the past couple of months so nothing really changed so i don't know what's up anyway going into the bears honestly i did not even know these two were sisters to be honest i don't know if that's dumb but i just never connected the two of them even though they have like the same surname i just didn't think like prior to doing this town makeover i just haven't thought anything about their similar surnames um so i just read up on their history while i was making them so apparently they're sisters and yuki looks up to her older sister candy which is the girl who has a pink hair and apparently she idolizes her cool dj sister candy but yuki on the other hand is like a very infamous underground hacker so i think they're both really cool and a fun fact is that candy was actually like when i first played the sims i think candy was one of my first like best friends in the game so i just found her really cool so it was really fun doing my own spin on their looks and stuff like that but as with all my other townie makeovers i made sure to keep their essence like i just changed some of their clothes and some of their features but i made sure that they're still somewhat recognizable as their own selves but i don't know if i did a good job with yuki actually with candy i was pretty pleased with what i have but with yuki i'm just not sure I, I i don't know i'm just not very happy with how her face turned out i don't know why but i don't know i was just not happy and i couldn't figure out what was wrong with it um there's not i mean there's nothing necessarily wrong with her face it's just it doesn't feel right like it doesn't seem to fit my 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 sim style as much so i don't know but with candy i was really happy honestly but speaking of like sim style and your own aesthetic i'm not sure if you guys are in sims twitter but there's there's been some tea going on and i don't want to talk too much about it because i don't know a lot about it but i've just, I've just been reading around and it's just a shame how people do that if you don't know what i'm talking about comment down below and i don't know tell me what you think of that but i definitely don't agree with some of the things that she said um it was just uncalled for but Again, I don't want to just dive deep into that, but just let me know if you know what I'm talking about. But I was definitely shocked to find out about that stuff because I just now, like as, as of recording this, I have like 1,500 subscribers, which is crazy to me. Like, thank you so much, you guys, for um, subscribing and supporting this channel. But um, to that point, like 1,500 is like a huge number to me already. Like just the thought of uploading a video and having 1,500 people see it in their subscription inboxes is like just insane to me. So the fact that the person I'm talking about has like like way more subscribers than me and say stuff like that it's just insane to me so i can't believe that happened but again if you know who i'm talking about let me know 
Um, it's just crazy. Anyway, <laughs> done with the tea. Let's go back to the sims we're making. Um, okay, so we're moving on to Candy, and in a short while, you'll see me working on her outfit, and you'll see that I am in the hot weather outfit, and I kind of end up repeating this process just because I was in hot weather, and this is so frustrating, honestly, because I don't know if this happens to you guys too, but um if you didn't know like if you go to the everyday outfit and then you put some makeup on and stuff like that especially when you make a new sim that kind of translates especially the hair translates to all of her other outfits but if you go into a specific outfit like i have here like accidentally like on the hot weather outfit all the other outfits stay the same so that was really frustrating because i had to repeat everything that i've done but i don't know it was all in it was all good um but i am not cutting this part because i think in this part like i ended up changing some of her features and stuff like that and i wanted to show you that process even though i ended up like changing some of the makeup some of the accessories and stuff like that so you'll see that a bit later honestly with candy i kind of struggled a bit even though i liked how she turned out in the end just because her hair is very like i think crucial to identifying her because as i said like i want them to still be recognizable as their own selves and when i okay here you go you see me seeing the everyday thing now but like see like that's very candy like even though that's not like, like i kind of changed her face at this point um that hair is really just like super recognizable as candy bear so it was a bit difficult but i ended up going with this hair um it's still pink just to kind of um give a nod to her old hair and i think she looks good with it so i ended up going with it so yeah but for her outfits i ended up also like choosing the same vibe but not exactly the same color i don't think i mean still with like the reds and stuff but still the same vibe essentially i still want her to be cool because that's the most important thing that i liked about her like she's just so cool and i I don't know why, but Yuki is the one with the headset, and I wish I gave um, Candy headphones too, but I felt like it was a bit redundant if I did that to Candy too, especially since Yuki was the one with the headphones in her original outfit, so I don't know if it matters or not, maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't know. But for now, I think we're nearing the end of the video. If you want to get these sims for your own saves or just play with them, I guess, um, you can download them from the link below. I'm going to leave the download link down below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. And thank you so much for 1,500 subscribers. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.